We've got a conversation today about public versus private blockchains. Bitcoin is a prime example of a public blockchain where we can see the stats, we can see the market cap, we can see the circulating supply, the total supply, the max supply, all the information, right? We can also go through and check the explorers. We can verify our transactions. We can see um, based upon any public address, the balances in those wallets. We do not need to rely on a third party person or entity to verify our transactions and keep a ledger of who owes who what. We can all do so ourselves. Right away, we can see a difference from Bitcoin to Monero. Total supply, nobody really knows. Circulating supply, we can see, we can verify what's on centralized exchanges. That's about it. Uh, market cap, 24 hour trading volume, you know, that's, that's all we get compared to fully diluted valuation, everything. Biggest thing, total supply, max supply, Monero, we have no idea. It is designed that way. It's to protect privacy. It's so that people cannot look into your wallet, so that people cannot see what you're doing and it's mostly used for payments so there's no real way to track uh, to track monero uh cypher trace potentially has found a way i haven't seen anything to confirm it yet uh likely it's fud to keep people out but monero is an example of a currency that was built by the people for the people and remains for the people more than likely it is open source a lot of the points that we love about Bitcoin is found in privacy coins like Monero without the aspects that are not so favorable, like being able to see your entire account balance. If you are not aware of people being able to see all that information, this is where we can a diversify wallets, b diversify into privacy chains and get into diversification when it comes to making payments. Um, it's a currency, right? That's the big thing with the SEC right now coming after mostly DeFi and securities, blatant securities. We want to find the currencies out there.